Hello, everybody. Um, today I'm going to be testing a Veer Anti Veer Personal um, Free Edition. So it's completely free. This is the version 10, which I have not tested yet. I've kind of done a better preview of the other version. Um, but I have not shown the free version yet. So we're going to take a look at what this looks like and how it protects us from some nasty malware. I have some wonderful links for us tonight, and we're going to see how it goes. The thing I love about this suite, not a suite, I'm too used to talking about Caspersy yesterday. The thing I like about this uh, free antivirus is that it's really light, and you can put it on most computers, and it won't have much of an impact. Um, it installs quickly too, and it has really high detection, at least from most of my previous tests. Um, it's checking for updates now, which is a good thing. I like softwares that during the install process, they update instead of having the whole interface open and everything before install, uh, installing the updates and downloading the updates. So it's great that it does this and shows you that it needs to download the updates before you do anything. This is my least favorite part about Avira. Until you buy some version of theirs, premium or security suite, they will literally drive you nuts every time they update by putting this pop-up there. Um, you can block it with Komodo and online armor, but... Um, other hacks tend to just mess up the program a little bit because um, Avira doesn't really want you messing with it. Um, I'm going to pause this while it finishes updating here. And then we'll go through some stuff. Alright, so before I continue, the first thing you notice about this is the... Um... Alright, it wants to scan, which is called Luke Filewalker. Kind of funny. Uh close and um, I just want to say the installer is 42.0 megabytes it's not too large uh, I've seen smaller but it's not a big deal if we look at the processes um, right here these two I think and then Oh, right here, AV Guard. That's the big one. But overall, it's pretty light. Running uh, on an idle right now. The first startup idle. Below 20 megabytes of RAM. Um, so this is the first thing that strikes you with the new version, uh, compared to version 9, is the new interface. It's laid out in a very similar manner. Um... But they have some shiny icons and uh, some new graphics, which may appeal to some people. It's got anti-veer guard, which is their standard protection. Um, doesn't have a lot of fancy stuff going on. It tells you when the update is, and then it tells you when it's activated until. And you can renew that because it's free. Um, I don't know why they bother doing this, but um, it does it anyway. Uh, the local protection, you can see what's going on with the scanner and the guard. And then um, the administration, you get to see the quarantine, and then you can schedule tasks. You can schedule update jobs, too, if you want it to update more frequently. Under configuration here, we can configure each um, setting individually. And um, if we check off expert mode, you get a lot more options. Um, there are a couple additional settings that you can check off. Search for rootkits before scan. Uh, this is for the scanner. And then follow symbolic links. Um, I tend to like follow symbolic links just because it 
it traces things a little bit more, but it's really not necessary. Uh, you can change the action on detection. You can tell it whether to scan archives or not, um, and what archives to scan. You can add exceptions, and then the heuristics, which is a head. Um, tend to leave that on medium because Avira has been prone to false positives in my experience, so don't want too many of those. The guard, uh, you can tell it to use scan all files or use smart extensions, which is a more trimmed down list, or you can create your own list using the ones that they have in there. So this is what it would scan, then you can add yours. Um, exceptions, the heuristic level, again, I'm going to leave it on medium. Um, reports, too, you can take a look at. The update, uh, stuff on that. Uh, general, then you can take a look at the threat categories. Um, I like to check off more of these than they tend to check off just because I prefer it when it lets me know instead of just letting something go. I tend to leave games off because I don't need it detecting any of those. Um, security, that'll just let you know about... Um, let's see, advanced process protection, if this option is enabled, um, the processes are protected with advanced options from unwanted termination. I'm gonna I may check that off. Um, but I'm not gonna bother right now because I don't feel like rebooting and I'm just doing prevention. Um, all of this stuff is not a big deal. Acoustic alerts. Um, I'm just gonna say no warning because I don't want a blasting in my ears. And warnings, that's fine. Okay. That's good enough for now. I'm going to open up Internet Explorer, and we're going to test some of these nice links I've got here. I've got 13 of them tonight. And we are going to see how this goes. I'm going to go to Google just in case I have to um, refresh this because it'll load faster. All right. So Vera is pretty much on defaults, and it's going to detect as if most anybody installed a Vera right now. So I have not made it any extra sensitive to any of these um, files. All right, um, Windows Firewall is blocking Windows Explorer. I don't know about that. Um, I'm just going to say ask me later because I'm playing the dumb user, and I don't want to mess around. So, so far we got one through. And keep in mind, I would use this along with a firewall like Online Armor or Komodo. So that if Vera missed something, I would have something else let me know about it. Oh, Microsoft Security Essentials. It must be safe. I don't have Microsoft Security Essentials on this computer. So this is completely fake. Now it's telling me to scan online. Um... Now it's telling me it's scanning with a lot of different scanners. Start scan. Gee, that's cool. I've never seen that before. I guess that's some kind of rogue? Whatever. I guess I'll move on from there. Terminated my Internet Explorer. Oh. Seems to be... Uh, Permanently terminating it. Uh, see if I can open it now. Wow, that's a real pain. Uh, I guess I will have to see if I can terminate this process. 
Oh, gee, this is annoying. Hang on, I'll be right back. Okay, I'm going to see if I can run this program called rkill.com, which tends to kill these kinds of processes. Um, I don't know if it's actually going to work. Nope. Well, let me see if I go in here. And let me just see if I can manually get rid of that. I don't know if I can. Um, no, apparently. Let me just turn this on high. And let me see if we can pick anything up. Wow, that's that's really annoying. Um, I'll be right back. I think I gotta deal with that and see if I can fix that for a sec. All right, so I went through the scan and so to see if I could uh, make it just stop and give me some normal rogue. So I downloaded their product, I guess, and um, yeah, let's see if I do safe startup. If I can possibly get this program to allow me to operate the computer. If not, I basically have to go back to a different state on this virtual machine. I kind of, uh, okay. This is just ridiculous. Uh, continue unprotected. All right. Um, well, Avera, I'm okay with the administrative rights, but I don't really like that software you've allowed onto this machine. Oh boy, this is an annoying one. Really annoying. Um, all right, there we go. That's what I wanted that for. All right, now that we're in order here, um, we're going to keep going. Where was I last? I guess I'll just start here. All right, found some malware here. We're going to remove that. Now if I try to run it, um, let's see what happens. I don't think anything. I think it just kind of went kaput because of Vera just working on it. All right, this one looks like it's going to go through pretty clearly. This one here looks like it's going to go through. By the way, this is new malware. This has not been around for a long time. So, so far, I'm not too impressed. Um, and believe it or not, the last time I tested their free version, um, The same thing happened, and it let just about everything through. Although, on my own computer, it's not had too bad of a time, but um, it seems like Avira's having trouble with this stuff. And the remember, the heuristics are still on high. Okay, fine. All right, uh, let's keep going here. Ah, it found this one. It's scanning my system now. Uh, not gonna really, okay. Access was denied, remove it. I don't really care for that one. It was never my friend. 
this one seems to go right through. I might, I'm going to scan the system after this, um, a full scan, just to see if there's any possible way. This is, um, this is a rogue, a fake scanner page it'll bring me to here. So we're going to see if Vera does anything after we download the rogue. All right, we get this scanner.exe. It looks like it's coming through. It crashed. The whole system crashed. Um, or logged off. It looks to me as if malware is having fun here, or Avira um, logged off and is now logging on again to complete its process. I'm not completely sure which. Because there is both on the machine, malware and Avira. Um, and both probably don't agree with each other completely. Okay, we got to deal with this guy again. Um, I'll pause this until it's completely booted up. Okay, so I got on again, and now it's logging me off again. I'm just getting logged on. I get the scanner that tells me uh, I need to buy the thing, and then I get logged off. So, I'm going to boot into safe mode just to see if that does it, and if that doesn't do it, we're going to say that I am done testing Avera, and hang on, da, 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 nah, too late. Getting into safe mode on a virtual machine is one of the most annoying things that I could possibly imagine. There we go. Uh, we're going to do safe mode with networking. And I'll be right back if this even boots up. All right, Windows is running in safe mode here. And it looks like it's uh, doing all right. We're going to open Avira here. It's going to be a little annoying working with this small screen. Um, but I'm going to go into configuration. Guard won't run in uh, safe mode, by the way. I'm going to go into the scanner. And for the scan under the heuristics, I'm going to put it at high. All right. And we'll do OK. And let's just go ahead here and run a scan and I'm gonna run a full scan to see if it comes up with anything at all that could possibly be um, helpful complete system scan start scan and I'll be right back when this is done Okay, so we've got one file found. <sighs> it's a little bit discouraging. One file I don't think was the problem. Um, nonetheless, I am going to try booting back up again. And I'll see if it gets anywhere. But I'm not going to make you watch. Okay, I get the logging off again. This machine is completely borked. Um, I am not going to try to fix it right now. And I'm going to say that I am not completely pleased with Avira's performance on zero-day malware. I think it does a really great job on um, malware that has been around for a little bit. And it has a really nice database for that. But the past two times that I've tested it, I've had similar results to this. And although it ranks high on my list still, um, there may be better alternatives. I think I may actually go and test a vast free version and just see what happens with the same malware links. 
So I might get two videos up tonight. We'll see what happens.